Good morning, Pratik. Thanks so much for joining us today to talk about your career journey and uh, particularly your, your role at Cyclica currently. Thanks for the opportunity. So to begin, can you give an overview of your career so far and how you landed your current role as the Chief Financial Officer at Cyclica? Definitely. So my accounting and finance career started at PricewaterhouseCoopers or PwC as a co-op student. I spent all four of my accounting terms at or my co-op terms at PricewaterhouseCoopers. I specifically wanted to work there because they've at the time, at least they had a large life sciences and pharmaceutical practice uh, globally. So I thought it exposed me to those company, those types of companies that I was interested in. Uh, after two years in the assurance practice, an opportunity to join the the, comp, uh, the firm's valuations practice presented itself. And I've always been interested in the CBV or Chartered Business Valuator designation. So I had a great time there and also got a good exposure to a large pharmaceutical client at the time. Um, and before you knew it, a recruiter sort of came knocking and presented me with the opportunity to, to join a specialty pharmaceutical company that had just recently formed um, as publicly listed, but their business model, they were just starting to get up and running. And it seemed like a great opportunity to, you know, take the leap from uh, public practice into industry. And the company Maris Labs was a TSX NASDAQ listed company with a business model basically to acquire product rights for uh, pharmaceutical products, primarily in the European markets however, right? And then basically try and breathe new life into them, right? And so sort of the key takeaway there was scale, ultimately, right? Scaling the systems, the people, the processes um, over those few years. I uh, got to wear many hats. Um, so not only was it a crash course in public company accounting and reporting, um, it was also a great primer on pharmaceutical operations. Um, after a few years, at Maris Labs, I thought I, I thought I'd diversify my industry experience a little bit, and so I started to look towards the software sector. Um, that's when I joined a company called Edge House Systems, uh, another publicly listed uh, company, but significantly larger, billion dollar plus market cap. Um, who I joined as the director of financial reporting. Sort of one of the key takeaways for me at Edge House was you know, the importance of systems, particularly in this day and age, right? We talk about business intelligence and FP&A and all that stuff. What does it mean and what's what's sort of the infrastructure behind that? And then what are the cultural changes that need to uh, take place for people to adopt? So it was a great experience. Um, and, you know, a year in that role, um, my wife and I were actually fortunate to have our first child. And so that, of course, comes with its own twists and turns and sort of challenges and also a bit of contemplation, to be honest, right? And so um, I've always had a keen interest in social impact. Uh, typically, I've done it outside of my career, uh, be it sit on not-for-profit boards or, or volunteering. Um, but I've always wanted to merge the two, right? Have a career where I could drive some social impact. And so that coupled with me sort of growing weary of the role a little bit. Um, I was uh, presented with the opportunity to join a a, a TSXV, so venture listed uh, solar energy company called UG as the CFO. So I'd done my best. I tried to work with the management team and the board and at a certain point realized sort of the risks far outweighed any sort of the benefits. And um, as particularly as a public company CFO, because that has, again, personal implications and professional implications if, if, if a company, say, goes bankrupt. And so without anything to look forward to, I decided to resign. This is probably like two weeks before the end of the year, um, you know, just a few months into the job only. And it was, you know, felt like a personal failure at the time, but it's also something where I've been working nonstop for so many years at that point and with a child at home and a young family and not wanting to be stressed out over something like this. It just seemed like the best decision. Um, and so was actually looking forward to getting some time off, to be honest, but I thought I'd um, give a ring to some recruiters that had reached out while I was working um, as a CA. I think you're sort of fortunate to get this inbound interest every now and then. And I'd called back a recruiter who was trying to pitch me on the cannabis industry, a company called Organigram, which had sort of a unique growing method, completely indoor, fully controlled, all that kind of stuff. So I'd give him a shout and see, you know, if you guys are interested, I'll do the interview. And so I think it was 
possibly Christmas Eve, I found myself interviewing um, with their CFO. Uh, didn't think much of it. I think the interview went well. And uh, lo and behold, a couple of days later, they're like, we'd like you to join. I was actually looking forward to some time off, to be honest, um, right? Because this was, I still hadn't actually left um, the solar energy company. I was doing my sort of wind down, trying to transition stuff over. And um, I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll do a con I'll do it as a contractor, so I have some flexibility initially, and then I'll decide to join full time if I like. And so the first week of January, jumped right into it, and again, it's like three, four weeks away from a filing deadline on quarter and financial statements. Um, as a, the role was director of finance role, but primary focus again on financial reporting, but it br expanded quite quickly into corporate finance, FP&A, and other. Um, accounting functions in a public company. For the next years is just quite the ride. For anyone who's been following the cannabis sector, you know it's been quite a roller coaster. A uh, lot of challenges, particularly in Canada, right? I think it was heavily fueled by the capital markets. And um, I think that's probably one of the biggest themes during my time at um, Organigram is the, the pressure between sound financial analysis and objective analysis versus capital market sentiment and human behavior. Learned a lot, got to apply um, some other, some of my other knowledge in terms of strategy and uh, stakeholder management and so on. Um, but after a couple of years in that sector, particularly given the roller coaster it faced and a lot of the challenges in the Canadian sector and the fact that I never saw myself long term in the cannabis sector, I, I came across um, Cyclica on like a Mars uh, job board. I, I just, I was sort of tired of public companies at that time. I'd spent my whole industry um, experience in public companies and often found that management teams were just distracted by the share price or capital market sentiment or what this analyst said or what that competitor is doing. And I wanted to work in a private company, um, possibly even a startup where you could, you know, be heads down and drive change on the big picture. And so came across this Mars uh, ad for a CFO role at Cyclica. I'd never heard of Cyclica before. I was surprised that such an awesome company existed, right? It was sort of the new age of biotechnology and call it like in silico or neo biotech. Um, and it was just bringing back memories of, you know, what I'd done um, in my undergrad and what I always sort of wanted as my long term career goal. Um, so I'd applied and Within a couple of weeks, the CEO had reached out and you know was very interested in my profile, um, specifically the CBB for whatever reason. He thought that was a good fit for their business model. Thankfully, I landed the gig. Um, it was a it was a great fit and uh, great people. And I think it all came down to persistence, to be honest. Like I've always been actively or proactively looking for new oppor opportunities that challenge me and push me, and I'm also aligned with my broader values or goals, uh, be it, um, you know, having some sort of social impact, being able to apply my um, science, scientific background and, and knowledge, as well as my interest in, in that area. And yeah, so that brings me to Cyclica today as CFO.